Hello everyone, I'm Mephesto and here's a game against the Mighty Munch. This is an RE battle from my live stream, and I believe I, I'm testing out this new team I made and uh, I think it was quite cool. So, it's gonna lead with this Clay Doll, I'm leading off with my Yen Mega. I'm just gonna go for the Bug Bus right off the bat because I know he's gonna rocks, stealth rocks, whatever you call it. And next turn I'm actually gonna predict his switch out, that's when I'm gonna go for uh, the Air Slash. And it doesn't quite kill him, which is unfortunate because I thought he's gonna switch out, but he doesn't. He goes for an Ice Beam though. I thought I had the Focus Sash, but luckily I do have the Leftovers, meaning that after a few turns I will be able to switch in with the Rocks next turn. I mean, next time I wanna switch it in. So, I'm just gonna go for the Air Slash again, predicting some sort of switch. He goes into Rotom Fro frost freezer freezer uh, and um, I think a bug buzz would, would have still been better on this uh, road time to hit it with but uh, inner slash is okay as well I'm just gonna go for the bug buzz knowing he can't really touch me although well he has the discharge but like I, I don't know I, I thought I could live a discharge at this point he shows me the blizzard but it doesn't actually hit which is amazing um, so I'm just gonna go for the bug buzz he, he decides to fodder out his um, clay doll fine by me, I don't really give a motherfuck. So, uh, just gonna get my speed boost to be Gengar, goes into Clefable, and I'm just gonna protect. I wanna see what kind of, uh, of status he has. It's gonna be either a Toxic or a Thunder Wave. Um, but he actually shows me the Flamethrower, which is kinda strange. So I'm gonna go into my special wall, my Odino. Uh, he's gonna go for the, for the Thunder Wave, and uh, it's actually good information for me. I mean, I do have the Heal Bell, but like, uh, Toxic would have been a lot worse in my opinion. So he's gonna go for the wish, I'm gonna get paralyzed, but it's completely irrelevant because I can go uh, for the heal bell next turn. I'm just actually gonna go for the toxic on this switch. I was kinda thinking about the switch, yeah. So I was predicting a switch, went for uh, the toxic, got the toxic on the road, I'm F. He gets the wish, um, but it's all, all right since I got the toxic on him doesn't really matter. He's gonna go for the T-Bolt now, as I said I am a special defensive wall so I can take it all day. I'm just gonna go for the Heal Bell just to get rid of the paralysis for you know those uh, irrelevant parahexes and stuff. Uh, so I believe I'm gonna set up a Wish here. He goes for a Blizzard that hits. It's gonna do a decent chunk because it's a stab and all that kind of stuff. Oh no no, I actually predicted a switch so that's why I went for the Toxic. But that's alright, even if he hits another uh, blizzard, I'm still, uh, I'm gonna be able to um, just go for the wish. He shows me the rest though, which was quite strange in my opinion, and uh, I mean, I would, yeah, it means it's a rest talker obviously, so yeah. Uh, if it was like a substitute boosting set, it would have like pink split maybe. But uh, he goes for the sleep talk, uh, gets the rest, I go for the toxic predicting a switch, so besides the wish, this turn was completely irrelevant, so... I'm just gonna go into my Electivire now because I know he's gonna probably sleep talk something gay and he does actually sleep talk, he gets lucky sleep talks the blizzard and actually hits. So that was quite unfortunate for me because it means that uh, my uh, Electivire is gonna live a little less, uh, less longer. So, and everybody's just running this caught substitute punching set but uh, I'm using a mixed set because uh, Electivire and RU with a mixed move pool is amazing. People don't realize that. Oh, pe oh, oh everybody uses the um, Scott set. So I actually uh, kill his Durant on the switch in with a flamethrower, which was amazing. And then um, he switches into Rotom on my Thunderbolt as I'm gonna finish him off with a flamethrower. Crit was completely useless, I think, because I am like uh, plus special attack nature with life orb and, sh and stuff. So, uh, yeah, gonna go into my um, sand slash now. I just want to spin away those rocks so that my uh, Ian Mega can come in and deal some massive damage once again. Uh, so he switches into Tangela. Uh, Tangela, I don't know what to expect from it, but probably Leech Seed shenanigans and Sleep Powder. So I decide to Sleep Fighter mine Dusk Noir because Dusk Noir is probably kind of do much to this team like looking at it right now. So I'm just gonna switch now into my Yan Mega predicting the uh, Leech Seed. 
but uh, he goes for the knockoff, knocks off my lefties. But as long as there are no uh, stealth rocks on the field, it's just it's whatever. I don't give a fuck. Uh, so and yeah, his Claydol is down, so he has nothing to set up the uh, the rocks. Uh, I was gonna go into uh, the uh, the Clefable as I get a crit on the Bog Boss, which was quite cool. And now I'm gonna switch into my Polyrath, knowing that I don't really take a shit. Uh, give a shit about uh, <laughs> take, a sh take a shit about give a shit about Thunder Wave. So um, he, I think he goes. He tries to go for the protect. Is I just get a free sub? And right here, I think I'm gonna go for uh, the focus punch on the switch. Yeah, and I go for the focus punch. Get a focus punch on the Tangela. But since he has the Violet, it doesn't do all that much. Does like nothing. And considering I am max attack adamant and stab focus punch. Whew. This Tangela eats it pretty much. I was gonna recover some HP from my substitute with a Giga Drain. Uh, focus Punch again, might as well because I have a free sub. So, yeah. Now I'm gonna switch into my Yen Mega. As I believe he's gonna Giga Drain again. Uh, as I said, I'm not fucking bothered because I think it's quad resisted. So, yeah, I'm gonna go back into. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna predict his switch into Clefable now. Uh, I'm just quite. Right now, just. Uh, you know, pulling out those double switches and stuff because predicting thingies. Oh yeah, and here I predict the switch again and just go for the focus punch. And the focus punch is gonna annihilate the hunch crow on the switch in. So Polyrath is amazing. I love Polyrath. It's like one of my favorite water fighting types. <laughs> there aren't many water fighting types, but it's my one of my favorite fighting types in general. So it goes into Tangela again. Don't feel like staying in, go into Yan Mega. I believe I thought he's gonna predict my prediction right now, but he decides to go into Clefable straight away. But I'm telling him on the stream pretty much that just uh, let's not waste our our time because pretty much it is over uh, I can switch in around I predict the thunder wave and I just switch into my sand slash so it's quite not difficult to predict him the game is in my bag pretty much he has two Pokemon uh, I have like four I think or five Pokemon I believe I can just easily deal with them just need, I need some switches in Obviously, after like 30 turns of switching, you know, double switching and stuff, I'm still gonna win. And he knows that, but he was actually on the stream like, no, 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 no. I never run, I never run, I, I always fight to the end. And I was like, dude, alright, we're, we're wasting this, the time of the stream and just all those stolly games and stuff. So, I'm gonna sub predicting him to predict my focus punch. That's why, yeah, I get a free sub, so... It's pretty much, I'm just gonna bulk up now, and here he understands that it's pretty much over because I can bulk up all day, set up those subs, bulk up and hit him with focus punches and waterfalls and whatnot. So he's gonna run. So that was a great game. I enjoyed using this team, you know, I like Polyrath and stuff like that. Electivire is good mixed. I don't care what people say, but mixed Electivire is bows. So I hope you enjoy this, and until the next time, I'm Festa.